Okay, I want to show you guys something. So this is a picture I just took like a couple minutes ago. See it? Body, yaddy, yaddy. She flex in hard. And then this is what I look like when I sit down. That's okay. That's fine. I promise. Look, that's what bodies do. You're beautiful. Okay guys, be honest, do you think I should get this dress? Or, um, where's the other dress? Hold on one sec, um, hmm, the other dress, um, um uh, oh, or this dress. All right, are you ready for it? So last night on Instagram, I posted this photo and I thought I looked really pretty. Not to mention, I didn't try any pose where my body would look not as much as it looks most of the time. I was bent over and in my head I wasn't thinking, wow, I look huge. I was thinking, I look happy. Like, look how cute my smile looks, right? I look very happy. I innocently go to sleep, I wake up, and I get all these comments saying I'm big now. Um, they missed me when I was skinny. I looked better when I was skinny. And... People prefer this, basically. People people think that looks better. So to any person that is glamorizing how I looked when I was skinny, I want you to know that I was told I could not have children, I was having heart palpitations every night, and my whole reproductive system shut down, I was at risk of a heart attack, and I mean, that's that's not pretty. That's hurting yourself. Once upon a time, I was really insecure about how muscular my legs were, but then a nice lady at the gym told me, with an ass like that, no one's going to be looking at your legs, and then I was cured. To the person who was like, I can see your roles, I don't know if you know this, but I am a human, and in order for humans to live, they have um, internal organs, so I keep my uterus and my intestines in this safe little pouch here since I can't carry them in my hands. Uh, you're fat. I may be fat, but you're ugly, and there's no diet for that bitch. Uh, yo, back profile check. Absolutely the fuck not. Why is this even a trend? Why is this a thing? I will not contribute to the way that this app consistently tells young girls that there's something wrong with them. Whether it's their nose profile, their jawline, their back profile. I literally cannot keep up with how many things are apparently wrong with women. I know that a lot of you just post these completely innocently and unknowingly, but I want you to consider the fact that a young girl that has your features comes to your page, sees your videos, and now thinks less of herself because you just called something that she had never noticed before really ugly or really unattractive. I also think there's just been this huge normalization of self-deprecating statements with women so they'll bond over things that they absolutely hate about themselves like I need a nose job, no I need lipo, no I need fillers and it's extremely unhealthy and toxic. Let's center our conversations around our careers and our goals and accomplishing our goals. Listen, there are enough lonely miserable people in this world that are going to hate and judge you for doing absolutely nothing. You don't need to be one of those bullies for yourself. My body type has never had an accurate cute fruit name and that makes me jealous and upset. So I'm taking the responsibility of renaming the body types. Today we're starting with the rectangle because it's boring and I don't like it. I've decided to change it to the praying mantis. Not only do I think we look alike, but they can also turn their heads 180 degrees and sometimes, only sometimes, they eat their mate. It's like I was saying, you where did you get that? That insecurity, I see it right there. Come on, hand it over. Thank you. Where do you keep finding those anyway? Okay, is it just me or does anyone else have a body type where you look really skinny from the side, but when you turn to the front,
So today I decided that I never want to wear a bra again. How controversial. I thought I'd let you all know because it does impact other people. Um, yeah, I don't want to wear one. So who's with me? Listen, I know like most of us have been the big friend, but I see benefits to this. Number one, like your friends can borrow your sweatshirts and your t-shirts and like be cute and cozy in them. But then you can borrow their tiny little t-shirts and wear them as crop tops for when you go out and I'm going out on a Wednesday and I don't want to hear judgment. I just turned 21. Be the bigger friend. Own it. Slap your ass on the way out. I was at Target today and almost started crying because I have lost 80 pounds and I have stretch marks all over my body and I saw these pictures with stretch marks that weren't edited out and I would love to see more places normalize stretch marks. This was great. If you are not a fat girl, big woman, keep it moving, keep it scrolling, okay? It doesn't pertain to you. We are doing Put a Finger Down Fat Girl Edition. Put a finger down if someone has ever told you that your face is beautiful, but just your face. Put a finger down if someone has ever told you, you would look so pretty if you lost weight. Put a finger down if you've experienced chub rub. Put a finger down if you've ever made a profile picture of just your face. Put a finger down if you've ever been on Tinder, got all the hot dudes until they saw your bod. Put a finger down if you sweat literally everywhere. Put a finger down if it's a legit struggle to shave, you know. Put a finger down if you eat like a normal person, you just have shit jeans. Put a finger down if you tried every diet known to man. Put a finger down if clothes shopping is literal hell. I'm 27 and for the first time in my life, I got a bathing suit because I used to be afraid to wear one. I might be thinner now, but I still have a body. It's, it's all right. I have a body and it's in a bathing suit and I wish I did it before because now I get to go on like a water slide. Okay is it just me or does anyone else have a body type where you look really skinny from the side but when you turn to the front Hi friends, if you haven't been here before, my name's Hannah and I'm 21 years old. As you can see, I'm pretty overweight. I am very insecure about myself and I am disgusted whenever I look at myself in the mirror. Because of how insecure I am, I don't wear cute clothes and I wear the same t-shirt and leggings every day. And I'm actually an exercise science major, but I hate telling people that because I don't want to be judged. But I decided to make a change and I'm embarking on a weight loss journey. I've decided to go to a trainer because I hate resistance training and I honestly need that extra push. Ever since I was little, I remember comparing myself to other little girls and always wondering why I wasn't skinny and beautiful like them. I remember being in fourth grade and counting calories. I've been partially successful in the past and have lost up to 50 pounds, but I've always gained it back. I haven't exercised in January because I had two concussions. Whenever I'm stressed or depressed, I always lean towards food to make myself feel better. But I know in my soul that this time is different. I'm ready to finally make a change and learn how to love myself and become the person I've always wanted to be. I know it's not going to be easy, but I'm so ready to embark on this journey with you guys. Thanks for tuning in and all my love. Okay, this is my stuff I'm taking off. This is my workout stuff. But it's stuck on these pants. Oh, there you go. Alright, hold up. Okay, I just want to take some of the layers off so this video won't be done long. Ooh. I'll put this plastic back on, bag on so I can sweat more. Don't matter what I'm doing. Now look how wet that is. And then I didn't have these little stomach titties. So that's a lot of weight loss. Ooh. 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 So I just want to show y'all my progress. It's a lot going on, you know, because I didn't have Wait, I'm confused. This. It was just a hunk, so. For a lot of reason, I don't shave. So sometimes people in my comment are like, oh my God, girl, I don't want to offend you, but did you see those armpit air there? You really ask me if I see my own armpit air? 
Look at that. One eye, two eyes. I can even have three eyes. And this one is big, big. Yes. So I see it. I know. I'm a grown woman of 23. I can decide what I want to do with my own body. Every woman can decide what they want to do with their own body. Your opinion on someone else's body don't matter. So stop. Stop this. We don't care. Okay, you guys, this next activity is about body positivity. So we're all going to enter this room one at a time. We're going to say one compliment about ourselves in the mirror, and then we'll leave the room and I'll close the door right behind you. Easy as that. My turn. Okay, you told me to come in here and say one. Just come on in. Just say one nice thing about yourself. All right. All right. Okay. Damn, girl. You be looking like Victoria's Secret on a runway. How was that? That was very good for your first try. Okay, just follow me out and I'll close the door. You, actually, no, I can do better. Okay, right. Nah, bitch. Forget the runway. You look like Oscar the Grouch in a garbage can on Fifth Broadway. How's that? Okay, the second one was, you know what, we'll, we'll try again tomorrow. Okay, but the delivery on that one was way better. The delivery was very believable. So I learned a psychology fact about the kind of people that cheat in relationships and I wanted to share because I think it's really interesting. So, you need to watch out for the ones that are hyper jealous. Because people project things that they are capable of. And I will explain. Like, you know when you break up with someone because they did something to you, you're always shocked because you're like, I don't understand. Like, I would never do that to you. So if someone is hyper jealous about you cheating on them or you being whatever, dishonest or whatever, it's because, excuse me, son, um, it's because that means that they are capable of doing that. They can see themselves doing that. So they think that other people are capable of that. That's also why in job applications, they ask you like, do you think most people are honest? Do you think most people are good? You're supposed to say yes, because that is how they are testing you to see if you are an honest, trustworthy person. Okay, that's all. Bye. I've had eating and body issues since I was 11 years old and I've been a runner for almost five years. And I just ran eight miles without my shirt for the first time in my entire life. <laughs> Day two of the military diet. Yesterday I was 158. Y'all, today I was 154. Can I just be the person to like normalize this body type? Because I feel like everybody on here is stick thin. And honest to God, nothing wrong with that. Like, girl, you do you. But I also want to normalize like... What about the happy mediums? You know what I mean? Like, I'm not big. I'm not small. I have some big titties. Whatever. I got rolls. Like, there's nothing wrong with that. It doesn't make you less worthy or less beautiful than anybody else on here. So just remember your fucking worth, dudes.